Hello everyone, welcome to my current workout routine. A lot of you guys wanna see this, it's nothing too crazy. Honestly, you are better off doing your own research and your own due diligence on fitness from other fitness channels because I am not an expert, this is just what I do. So let's talk about my workout split. I lift about three times a week and I do full body workouts. That's it, and my work... Ahsoka, I'm filming a video. And my workout routine is definitely a lot different than most guys because I have a lot of different hobbies. And every time I do lift, the exercises will be slightly different. To kick off the workout, I start by skipping rope. I find this a more fun and enjoyable way to do cardio because you can progress with it. With running, it's either a faster run time or a longer distance, and that's just boring to me. With skipping rope, I can do double skips, crosses, one foot. It's just more fun, which is a theme you'll see with my workouts. I then do some stretching and mobility exercises so I don't hurt my joints. Also, after my stretching, I'll throw some handstands. Just work on my balance and all that. I did lose my handstand push-ups, unfortunately, because I haven't practiced it that much, but I've been trying to get it back. And it's also good for your shoulders, good shoulder mobility, and it's good to be able to handle your own weight. Then I start off with bench press. This is a staple exercise. It's a compound lift, meaning it works multiple muscle groups, your triceps, your chest, and your shoulders. So you're gonna grow a lot quicker if you're starting off as a skinny dude like I was. I then superset that with some pull-ups with a full range of motion. I typically like to explode up, then slowly lower myself on the eccentric portion of the exercise. Think of it like clapping push-ups. Being more explosive is just even more of a functional thing to do as a human than just lift something. And I am gonna be buying a belt so I can do weighted pull-ups. And on the other days, I may switch this for incline bench or incline dumbbell bench press or decline one arm push ups, just depends on my mood. Stay hydrated, fellas. Then afterwards, I'll decide either between cable crossover or landmine press. Right now, it's landmine press because it's similar to an incline bench. You do work your upper chest and your shoulders, and it can be done if your benches are full in your gym. It's a great exercise that I don't really see a lot of guys do. Then for my back, I'll hit the cable rowing machine. I flare my elbows out on one set to hit my upper back and rear delts. And on another, I'll keep my elbows more tucked in so I can hit more of my lats. On other days, I may do bent over rows or deadlifts lifts every day is different so I don't get too bored then I either choose to hit the cable machine for my arms or I use dumbbells depends on my mood for the day but the exercise is the same and today I'm hitting dumbbells here's what I like to do I do nine reps on each arm one rep with my arms curling outwards to emphasize the short head of the bicep then your standard curl and another rep that curls inwards to hit the long head of the bicep and each time I do those I will go from doing hammer curls to your standard curls to emphasize the brachialis and forearms more or both heads of the bicep because of the super nation of the wrist. It's a great way to hit every part of the bicep along with the brachialis. Definitely recommend doing this. And next up is tricep extensions. If it's with the cable machine on let's just say day two of my workout, then I'll be doing drop sets and supersetting it with tricep extensions. So basically I'll go from doing bicep curls with the cable machine, I'll move the machine up, then I'll do tricep extensions and I'll do drop sets in between those. I learned that from Brandon Carter, who I used to work with. Shout out to Brandon. It's a great way to hit the arms. You know, I'm not that big, but it is a reason why my arms Look, look decent. And then I'll go 15 or so minutes hitting the bag or teaching my girl how to throw punches. I'm still a beginner and I do suck, but I'm still learning. And it's great cardio because I'm cutting right now. And that's it guys, that's my lifting portion of my workout. And you guys might be wondering, yo, what do you do for legs? Well, it depends on the weather that day. If it's cold and raining out, then I'm gonna be doing pistol squats, weighted pistol squats, then body weight pistol squats. And if it's a nice and gorgeous day outside, I'm gonna be hitting a skate sesh because skating is literally jumping up and down explosively a thousand times. It's a great leg workout but I don't think of it as a workout it's more fun and a way to clear my mind that so happens to destroy my legs and calf muscles plus it also gets my heart going and since now that I'm cutting I'll go for a jog around the beautiful New York City on my days off because running here is so much easier and enjoyable than anywhere else there's so much to see and I find it therapeutic and in a few weeks I'm probably gonna pick up a climbing membership because it is getting warmer outside. There's a skate park right next to this climbing gym because I enjoy climbing a lot because rock climbing is calisthenics, which is how I got started with making gains. And I've said this in another video, the progress that you make with climbing and calisthenics is all that is more fun and enjoyable. It's more skill-based. So you might move from regular push-ups to one-arm push-ups to handstand push-ups or you can move from a V2 to a V3 climb. That's a lot more fun and enjoyable, and that's kind of how I like to tackle my fitness journey. And I've got to say this, if you guys are struggling to make gains and progress like your typical gym bro, I say it's totally fine. Don't worry about that and just find something that you like. Nothing wrong with gym bros, but gym bros, they'll tell you all this stuff about lifting, but they can't really manage their own weight. A lot of swole dudes can't even do a pull-up or a dip and all that. So what's the point in making all these gains if you can't really control your weights or do anything with it? So I say try a variety of training styles 
lifestyles because what may work for someone else may not work for you. Plus, you might enjoy something a little bit more than someone else. And I kind of think of it like skincare as well. You can't just grab a random skin product and expect it to work. Which is why I want to recommend the sponsor of today's video, Curology. Let's cut to the ad. So Curology is a subscription-based skincare brand that I've been using for over a year now. Because I don't always have beautiful skin like it may seem like. Check this out. This is a pimple. This is acne right here. I am a normal guy. I have normal adult issues and I do have stress breakouts. And that is why I use Curology to take care of my skin. Cause here's how Curology stands out and why I recommend them to my friends. In your box, you're going to get a cleanser for cleansing your face, a moisturizer to hydrate your skin. And the best part, your own personalized night cream that is curated just for you and your specific skin. And that's always refreshing to hear because all my friends that I put on Curology, they have their own specific formula. None of ours are the same. It'll come with your own name on it and the specific percentages of ingredients that is in your formula. Everyone has their own because everyone has different skin. At the time you sign up, Curology is gonna be asking you a ton of questions, which is a great thing because you want your dermatology provider to understand your skin. Basically, what type of skin you have? You know, some people have oily skin, some people have dry skin. Do you wanna fight acne or do you wanna fight aging? That way your dermatology provider can curate your own night cream. Like for me, I've always suffered from really dry skin, that's why the breakout right here, I accidentally rubbed it. And I also suffer from hyperpigmentation. My skin has little patches of darkness and lightness. It's kind of weird. And after using Curology, I've definitely seen an improvement. And you can always update your dermatology provider with progress pics, and they can always adjust your formula to fit your needs. In the future, I'm gonna be focusing on de-aging. And once you've created your accounts, you're going to have a whole page of information about your specific skin and recommended routine. Very streamlined, and you can't really mess that up. And it may sound pricey, but you can get your own free trial kit that comes with your cleanser, your moisturizer, and your specific night cream for just $5. Well, $4.95 for shipping and handling. Now, all you gotta do is click that link in the description, check them out. It is definitely worth the shot. Thank you guys in advance and thank you, Curology, for sponsoring this video. Bless. And yo, that is my workout routine, fellas. I don't plan on being a bodybuilder. This is just my fitness lifestyle to stay lean and look good in clothes. So if you guys found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at TikTok at flywithjohnnytai. And until then, stay fly. Make sure you sign up for Curology. Deuces.